Cole, what 25 regular season games left plus champion for what what's going to be the marker for you that, that says yes, this has been a success? I've done probably putting a smile on the supporters' faces. I mean we have got great support. There's no two ways about that. Um, I mean, to, to Nigel's point, it's um, if you see efforts in your football team or your baseball team or your basketball team, you, you can you can roll with it. Um, and if you if you're fighting for every ball, if you're in the right spot at the right time, if you're not overexposed, then you're probably going to be okay. So. Um, that's what we're going to do. Paul, uh, on the record, uh, rumours and speculation abound at times like these. There has been a suggestion that the relationship between you and Aaron uh, was perhaps partially responsible for why this team has fared so badly. Would you care to comment on that particular uh, yeah, situation? Yeah, I would. I'm, <clears throat> I'm very glad that you asked me that question because... Um, this this rumour started uh, in in uh, the combine, and I think it's maybe a simplistic view by some some people in the media that if I'm watching a game, I don't really want to sit with Bob. I don't want to sit with Aaron. I don't want to sit with with anybody. I want to make my own decision. I want to make my opinion on players because it's all about opinion, always is. And I find that sometimes, through my experience, if you if you sit with players, you tend to uh, sit with coaches or your peers. You tend to just um, not necessarily disagree on the spot, but it, it's it's not an environment to have a discussion. So that was a ridiculous rumor that that came around. I've offered my advice as a as a senior partner in the management team. Um, Aaron's the boss. Aaron was the boss. If he wants to take that advice, all I can do is give my advice. Um, but that's all I can do. And if, if you know, I mean, some of you know me really well, I'm not the type of person that holds back on an opinion. I, I will give my opinion. I mean, Bob and I have, have many, many heated discussions about systems and players and, and, and uh, Holland and England and, you know, so, but... That's not to say that we don't have a very good relationship. We have a very, very good relationship. So, you know, what you see on the outside is, uh, is not always, you know, not always reality. So uh, Aaron and I have had many, many uh, dinners and, 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 you know, cups of coffee and, and had discussions about direction and about short-term, long-term. Um, you know, to, to Tom's point, the, the long-term vision that, that that Aaron and Bob brought. If you if you do if you care to go and look at the academy, what's going on down at the academy? It's puts a smile on your face. It's fantastic. I mean, that the base of the pyramid for me is it's it's really there now, and 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 that's to be applauded. And that's to be congratulated. Now, we we're talking about the sharp end, and when you get to the sharp end, you get disagreements. Um, because I can say one team, Bob can say another team, but the team is actually picked by the then the, the head, uh, head coach. So if that's a disagreement, yeah, of course it's a disagreement. I have disagreements with Earl and Bob all the time. <laughs> and, you know, in our game, you don't really have to socialise outside of the office. You know, we, we, we have got lives to live, we've got wives and families to go to. So, you know, if, if I'm not out having a coffee with Aaron every night, then... Don't read too much into it. It's just a fight to life in football. It just, just is. So talking about the sharp end, Paul, here you are now mm -hmm. with the team at your disposal. Yep. You now choose the style and the direction and the 11 players you, you put on the field. Yep. You don't need me to tell you, you that you, in that situation, as the head coach or manager, whichever term you choose, have somewhat limited experience. So... Uh, you know, the next thought is how much confidence do you have in yourself uh, that you are the right man for the job? Well, you, Nigel, you know I'm a very uh, modest man, but I've got unbelievable confidence in my own ability. <laughs> um, I know exactly what I'm doing in training this week. I know exactly what the team's going to be next week, barring injuries. I know exactly what direction we're going in. I know how we're going to play. Um, <clears throat> so it's almost... 
written what, what's what's going to occur. So um, you, you say I've got limited experience. If you if you look at the people that I've worked with um, throughout the world, um, in in North America, Asia, Australia, all, all over the world, picking up little bits of various people that you've worked with, the managers that I've that I was under, probably some of the greatest managers ever walked the face of the earth. Um, you know, you don't you don't close your ears to those little jewels that they come out with. Um, so um, I can't wait to get started. Uh, just while I'm on this subject, I've got a very the timing is a little unfortunate for me because my wife is uh, she's she's going to see the surgeon tomorrow and a very important uh, procedure. So I've got to leave tonight and I'm I'm going to try and and um, give her my full attention tomorrow just for the day. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I won't be available, really. Uh, if it's urgent, then I will pick the phone up. But, uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday, um, no, no problem whatsoever. But So if, if you say, well, Mariners fell off the face of the earth, I'm in Boston with my wife. <laughs>